Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. What would you say if I told you there was a commercial game engine being developed on top of the Godot game engine? Well, you'd probably say if you're a regular this channel, oh, you mean RPG in a box? And well, yeah, that's actually true. No, what I'm actually talking about today is something called The Mirror. And we'll start with uh, their little 10 second pitch. So this is basically a game and game development platform. Again, the world of metaverse comes back to haunt us. That's basically what the idea here is. You can see you can create content in something like Blender, drop it into uh, the mirror, uh, you can share it, you can create collaborative experiences around that shared content. So basically they're trying to create a Roblox-like clone that is built on top of uh, the Godot game engine. They're very upfront about the fact that this is powered by Godot and I do appreciate that aspect. Now the question is, is this interesting and worth checking out. Now, if you want to go ahead and check it out, it's available at uh, themirror.space. It is currently in private alpha. They've got a apply. You can apply for the upcoming beta right here. Uh, it is an all-in-one uh, game and game development platform designed to empower developers and 3D creators with limitless experiences and creativity. To be honest, again, they try to say that they want to be like the open source Roblox, but I think this is more... Um, Core. So this is a lot like how Core is built on top of Unreal Engine. This is kind of a core-like experience just built on top of the Godot game engine. We can see some of what the uh, the environment looks like right here. And truth of the matter is, this screenshot, it looks a lot like Core. So from an aesthetics point of view, very Core-esque. But again, the underlying technology behind this is entirely the Godot game engine. And the entire thing that they're trying to do is a user-generated economy. So you could create models that can be used across multiple different games and you can sell those models in the world. Now there's one thing about this that screams at me that I really don't like. I'm going to leave that for a little bit later on so you have to watch the video all the way through. But there is one big red flag for me and it's a three letter word. I wonder if you know what I'm talking about. But other than that, um, it's powered by the Godot game engine, uh, which, you know, imagine if you're on this channel, you know what Godot is all about. If you don't, it's an open source cross-platform 3D game engine. Um, very powerful tool, probably the most popular open source game development technology out there. Um, this one is all about real-time collaborative uh, development. So um, you can create things together and you obviously can create multiplayer games. So one of the major features is uh, cooperative building with friends. And then you also have out of the box multiplayer uh, scales from 10 people up to ultimately thousands of people. There is a physics sandbox. Their entire idea, their first project apparently is going to be making something like Gary's Mod, which is built on top of uh, Steam's game engine um, source. Uh, so something along those lines is their first shot, but it's going to have physics built in out of the box for multiple skill levels. So you can be a no code or low code or an experienced developer and, and take advantage of this platform. You can import your own 3D models and you can buy and sell the goods on the marketplace. Uh, so they do have an asset store already marked up. As you can probably tell by uh, this graphic here, they actually have some uh, nice looking stuff going on there. So they have a uh, marketing team for sure, some graphic designers working on it. And this is kind of a preview of what their store would look like. So their entire marketing idea behind it is for people to be selling goods in virtual games. So yeah, metaverse light. And, and they are essentially trying to be like a Roblox so you can build to earn um, like you would in um, you know a, a Roblox or a core type environment. Uh, interoperable assets, so the stuff that you create, so say you could create a racing car for one game, you could then drive it in another game or in another experience or whatever. And it's a place where you can showcase your work. So you reach new builders, artists, and game developers. They do have their team online. They do have investments. That's one of those things to be aware of. This team actually has something like 23 people on it and two plus million dollars in funding. Now the team is actually kind of interesting to me because while well, strictly of the founders of these three fellows right here, not a single one of them has a game development background, which is a bit of a red flag. But you know what? You can be into gaming and not a game developer in the past. Uh, he worked at SpaceX. He will get back to in a second. Uh, this guy is uh, from the marketing side of things. But they have raised some funds and they have hired a number of developers. So I don't know how many people from a game development background are on the team, but none of the founders are. As I did mention earlier on, though, they do have money. They have 2.3 million pre-seed investment, so early stage investment in their company. So some people definitely believe in it. Again, it kind of goes through the same thing. So the founders uh, were Convoy Ventures, Abstract Ventures, Florida Funders, and Palm Tree Crew, or the people that put that 2.3 million together. Um, they want to simplify game development process for indie studios, individual creators. Platform will arm developers of all skills from no code to advance with easy to use tools to solve common problems. Some of Mirror's ready to use features include multiplayer networking, real-time collab, physics sandbox, and support for community-based user-generated content. 
And then this isn't the red flag, but it buzzwordy. Uh, to support the move to Web3, uh, Mirror's Marketplace enables creators to monetize their work. Sales of 3D models, texture scripts, and more will net uh, creators a percentage of the sales. Mind you, the pricing hasn't been finalized as of yet. Passionate about empowering creators and strongly believe in fairly compensating them for their hard work and dedication. Again, I think this is pretty much the same screenshot as before, but it gives you an idea of the kind of tools that are built in here. So we're going to have some train tools, etc. I will be interested to see how much um, they will actually be contributing back to the Godot code base behind this, because uh, this obviously is built on top of Godot. And they're talking pretty much about open source. So open source is central to the Mirror's mission and commitment to interop of its products, in addition to regular GitHub contributions, which is what I think means that they're going to contribute back to the Godot game engine, but it could be read a couple different ways. Uh, the platform is built on top of the open source Godot game engine. Uh, we heard the pitch for building a virtual world platform on top of Godot. We were incredibly excited to invest in the mirror to see them pursue a multi-billion dollar opportunity that could be leveraged by hundreds of millions of gamers and creators. Now, this one is interesting. This guy is one of the investors from Convoy Ventures. We believe the Godot engine is one of the most underrated projects in the gaming industry. So that's actually kind of cool. So uh, it's been going at it for about six months now. Uh, the team has grown to 15. They actually said in uh, their pitch video, which I'll get back to in just a second, uh, that they're at something like 23 headcount now. So there's a lot of people working on this project. And yeah, so they have $2.3 million worth of funding as opposed, uh, as reported by uh, this VentureBeat uh, article here. Now, the thing that really stood out to me is one of the creators here, or one of the founders, Mika Peterson, well, I really hate how he describes what he's doing because he's talking here. He is head of strategic partnerships at The Mirror, the world's first 3D NFT marketplace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, I, if you guys are behind this company, get rid of that. NFTs are as cancerous as it gets. It makes me think that everything is, you know, snake oil and you know, buzzwords and so on. Uh, almost nobody legitly working in the games industry anymore is, is behind the NFT idea. I know some uh, publishers are still dreaming of that NFT money, but the vast majority of gamers do not want NFTs. The vast majority of projects behind NFTs have been uh, less than honest. On, when you're primarily describing your product as an NFT marketplace, just no, just absolutely no. So this is sort of what ruins all of it for me. And other than this one profile thing, everything else kind of sounds a little bit interesting. So as I mentioned earlier on, they did this uh, professional elevator pitch thing on entrepreneur. So if you want to watch it, I'm not going to watch it here now because of um, you know copyright issues or whatever, but it's basically a Shark Tank ripoff where they tried to convince these two women and this man with a mullet uh, to invest in their project. So they give a little bit more of a top-level speech. Now, again, they are talking to ne not necessarily technical people here, so you are going to get a little bit of the uh, marketing spiel, but it does give you an idea of the entire idea behind the mirror. So that is it. That is the mirror. Again, if you want to learn more about it, themirror.space. Uh, there is a private beta that you can apply for. Um, it's up and coming, $2.3 million worth of funding, a team of 20 plus working on it. Uh, it does look pretty. Again, I would say that the most direct analogy to the mirror is it is to Godot what Core is to Unreal Engine. And it's not really competing with Godot. It's literally building on top of it. And as long as they're contributing back to the underlying code base, uh, it's a good thing uh, in, in that regard. Will it take off? Is it, um, again, another NFT sort of snake oil pitch? They even actually in this article say that they're not snake oil. But NFTs are such a toxic word that I don't know any other way to put it. So if I was you, by the way, if you're the mirror people, update that profile because that is literally the most off-putting thing I've read. NFT Marketplace, 99% uh, of developers are going to read that and just dump, dump your project immediately. So um, from an optics side of things, I would definitely get rid of that because everything else sounds reasonably interesting. It's something to keep an eye on. Again, you can apply for the beta uh, right here. So, interestingly enough, serious. so no snake oil or smoke and mirrors, pun intended. Our team is focused on building and shipping an all-in-one game development platform. We believe in community engagement and support. Your feedback is welcomed and encouraged. And they are hiring, uh, I think, mostly intern positions, however. Um, and they, again, say that you'll be contributing to open source. So it does look like uh, upstream or downstream, whichever direction that would be, the Godot engine will benefit from this existing. Uh, but again, the proof is always in the pudding. But I'm curious to hear what you think of the mirror, of the idea, of the whole games as game engines concept in general, the future of the world, and does NFT suck as much to you as it does to me? Let me know your things. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.